Hello and welcome back. Before I get started, I'd like to thank SaintMaker52, who has become my newest subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a book haul from the Book Thing of Baltimore. And I realize that a lot of people actually probably don't know what the Book Thing is. It's a nonprofit organization that basically gives out free books every weekend. It's a warehouse filled with thousands of books. They're all free. And even better, you can also drop off books that you have that you don't want anymore. And now, on with the haul. I had a really amazing haul today, and it probably would have been pretty abstemious, except one of my favorite authors happens to be Anthony Trollope. He was extremely prolific, and I've actually read only a fraction of his many, many works. I've read The Way We Live Now, which is one of my favorites, or probably my favorite Anthony Trollope, and one of my favorite books of all time. And I've read all of the Barsetshire Chronicles. By the way, if you're going to start Trollope, I would highly, highly recommend not to start with The Warden, which is the first of the Barsetshire Chronicles. And although it's very short, it is one of the most boring books I've ever read. Um, I would, if you want to start with that series, I would jump right into book two. You can pick up right away. But anyway, Trollope is one of my favorite authors, happens to be very prolific. And a while ago, Penguin decided to put out his complete works in a nice uniform set with orange binding. And at the book thing today, they just happened to have almost all of that set. And I did not take the ones that I already have. I already have the Palliser novels, the Barsetshire novels, and a couple of others. So I left those for somebody else to take. But I got quite a few, including The Golden Lion of Grand Père. These apparently were meant for, um, they're probably instructor's copies or review copies or something because the, um, the front cover has been torn, presumably, so you can't resell the book. So the covers aren't gorgeous, but who cares? And Lotta Schmidt and other stories. The Claverings. Why Frau Froman Raised Her Prices and Other Stories. The Three Clerks, or Clarks if we're being British. The Land Leaguers. Ralph the Heir. The Belton Estate. Is he Poppinjoy? I guess we'll find out. La Vendée. The Kellys and the O'Kellys. Tales of All Countries first series. An Old Man's Love, and even more, The McDermott's of Ballycloran, John Caldegate, I told you he was prolific, An Eye for an Eye, an Editor's Tales, but wait, there's more, Kept in the Dark, Isla's Angel, Castle Richmond, Tales of All Countries second series, Cousin Henry,
And I did get more than trollops, so if you're getting bored, don't go away just yet. Sir Harry Hotspur of Humblethwaite. Marion Fay. Rachel Ray. Dr. Wartle School. The Bertrams. And Nina Balatka. I think that's all, but there might be some more in the bag. I was actually disappointed because there's one Trollope novel I really want to read called The Fixed Period, which unfortunately was not there, just my luck. But I'm very grateful for the ones I found. And now on with the rest of what I got. I got this book, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It, this book was passed around the classroom from hand to hand when I was in grade school. And I don't recall being explicitly forbidden to read it, but I was a very impressionable child and used to scare extremely easily, so I was discouraged from reading scary stories. And of course, when it got passed around, I would wind up reading a couple and in fact getting really scared. So I picked it up again and now I can freak myself out as an adult. Next is A Cool Breeze on the Underground by Don Winslow. I've read a couple of his books, uh, The Winter of Frankie Machine, which was amazing, and another one called The Dawn Patrol, which was not quite as good, but was still really enjoyable reading. Ah, yet another trollop, imagine that. This is Mr. Scarborough's family. And two more. The American Senator and The Struggles of Brown, Jones, and Robinson. Then I got a novel called The Whistling Song, which appears to be a sort of road trip novel and apparently a little bit surreal. A Certain Age by Tama Janowitz. I don't know why I keep trying to read Tama Janowitz because I tried reading Peyton Amberg and got about halfway through and gave up. I read a couple stories in The Slaves of New York and I don't really find her voice speaks to me. But the other Brad Packers, Jay McInerney, Brett Easton Ellis, and um, Mark Lindquist have all written books that I really loved. So I keep giving her a try and we'll see if this is any better. The Yellow Kids. I picked this up because it's by Joyce Milton, who wrote a book called The Road to Malpsychia, Mal which I really liked. Say Uncle. Lust. I read the title story of this in an anthology and thought it was a little goofy, but sort of interesting at the same time. Who knows if I will ever read this huge biography of Walter Winchell, but it looked interesting. The New Spirit by Havelock Ellis. Omen Setter's Luck. Starting Over, a college reader, which I only picked up because Frederick Cruz is one of the co-authors and he's written a couple of brilliant academic satires called The Pooh Perplex and Postmodern Pooh. That's P-O-O-H as in Winnie the. The Magus by John Fowles. People keep telling me I should read this. I don't know. Sailor Song by Ken Kesey. American Journey, The Times of Robert Kennedy. And it looks like I'm at the end, so what I think I'm going to do is do a book haul part two video, so tune in for that one. <laughs>